Hello and welcome to a brand new series here on our channel. This is Skyblock 1.16, the Nether Edition. Now, why is it called the Nether Edition if you spawn here in the overworld? Well, that's that's a bit of a secret, but it's basically a bit of magic here. If I mine this here block of dirt, bippity boppity into the Nether, we droppity. And if you notice. We are on a very similar little island here in the nether. And we've got a tree, a fungus, some soul soil it looks like. We're on a black stone platform with some basalt underneath. And I have been through this once before, so I know underneath this there is a small bit of bone blocks. So we can turn into some bone meal. And the reason why I started over is because if you fall in the void here in the nether, you respawn in the overworld and you can't get back here to the nether. So you kind of have one life to live until you get to the overworld. Otherwise, the whole map is just kind of skewed a bit because you won't come back to this platform unless you happen to pillar out to it and find it. So, we have one go at this, and if you guys are familiar with my channel, that's going to be a struggle. A real struggle, especially when it comes to voids. Me and voids are not good friends. So, what have we got in here? We have some rotten flesh, which I'm not sure if there's a purpose to that. One thing I do know about Skyblog is just about everything you're provided has a purpose. Now, I don't know if these are just kind of like just a filler thing or something, but I know I need to hang on to just about everything that I get in this world. So we're going to hang on to those. We put that away and we're going to read this book that is provided to us by Dr. Trog, the person who developed the map. And I will be leaving a link to the map in the description so you guys can play this if you like. But happy nether update. In celebration, Skyblock will be starting in the nether. Can you figure out how to get back to the overworld? I'll give you a hint. Go north. So we need to head north. I assume there is a portal or some way of getting back to where we need to be by going north. And that is that way. Into the void. All right. So that means I need to start gathering up some resources. And what do we got here? We have some lava and some blue ice and some soul soil. So we can make basalt which would allow us to make a renewable block to get us bridged all the way over to that nether for uh to the uh the, the portal that I'm pretty sure is out that way but I want to hang on to this lava because there's a lava bucket in the chest on in the overworld because it has the standard skyblock stuff in there and this blue ice. I want to hang on to both these if I can, because having an extra lava bucket will be really, really handy in the overworld. Another way of doing this is I can grow a whole bunch of these warped, these crimson fungus trees, make some slabs, and slab out to the 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 portal, which I think will be smarter because. If I do bottom half slabs, they won't be spawnable. That means I won't have to deal with piglins and magma cubes and anything else that might spawn on top of the bridge that I'm making. So, these warped fungus blocks have an 80% chance of producing bone meal in a composter. So, probably going to be gathering as many of these as I can while I'm growing these trees to try to renew my bone meal so I can grow more trees and make more slabs and the beauty of that is I can make slabs a lot faster than I can make uh, basalt because each you know you turn this into planks and then each plank will produce multiple slabs so I'll be able to get more for my money out of this so I'm gonna start breaking some trees 
start farming up some bone meal and hopefully we can get ourselves back to the beginning by the end of this episode. So let me get started on this and I'll bring you guys back once there's something to, to show. And I just lost the log. Oh no, I got it. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back once I got something to, to show you, show about it. Okay, I've got some wood harvested, made some sticks. I think I'm just going to make myself an, a pickaxe for now. And maybe an axe. I don't think I'm going to go much further than that. I thought about making a hoe to get these uh, warped blocks with. But I think that's just going to be a waste of wood. Because the hoe, the wooden hoe is not much faster than the you're just punching it with your fist. So I want to go down just a tiny bit here and expose what's underneath. Which should be... There they are. Some bone blocks here. And I can only harvest one layer of these. So that's going to be, I think, two or three bone blocks. Because the next one goes to the bottom of the world. There's only two layers below my feet right now. So last thing I want to do is accidentally fall through the world. And I want to hang on to as much of this as I can. Because once we get to the overworld, it's going to be really, really handy to have these things. So I'm actually going to plug that up with some of this so I don't accidentally fall out. All right. So there's that. And we've got some netherrack here and we've got a warped fungus, which I'm actually going to collect. Oh, that was scary. I'm going to pack that away for now. I'm going to save one of these, turn that into some bone meal. And I'm actually going to use the dirt and a couple of these just to fill this floor in. Because I don't like this floor being like this at all. This is not good. Alright, there we go. So I'm going to bone meal that and bone meal that. Get a bunch of this stuff if I can collect it without it going over the side. And it's just going to keep going over the side. Awesome. How awesome is that? Okay. I think I need to build out this platform just a bit. So I'm going to waste a bit of these. Just to make a little bit more room along the edge there. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this one bit. For some reason, shifting and doing this anytime. This is how I lost it last time, was shifting and trying to build a platform. I was shifting, still fell off the platform. I don't know how that happened. I must have accidentally slipped the key or something like that. I don't know. But this is nerve-wrecking. All right, so let's see if we can punch some of these. Get as much of this from where I can reach as possible. Hopefully we don't lose too much stuff over the void. The good thing about these trees is I don't have to clear this all the way up. They're just going to keep growing and growing and growing and producing more and more and more of this stuff because they'll grow through solid blocks just fine. They don't care if there's something right above them. They will continue growing. And let's see if we can collect the shroom light. Okay, good. We can. And if we can get a few tall ones to grow, this should shorten our grind significantly. Moving a bunch of these over the side a bit. We 
which is not good because I'm going to need as much bone meal as I can collect. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to put these away. Farm up some more wood. Let's see if we can get a couple more. There's one. Good. All right. So we have at least one extra. That's good. That's good news. Let's grow a tree. Oh, that's not a bad one. I guess I'm just going to start punching wood and collecting this stuff up. Okay, and I have, I think, gathered up as many slabs as I'm going to need. Hopefully, this is all that I need. If I need more than this, then then I I don't I don't even know what to do, what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to gather up, I guess, pack all this stuff up. And we're going to head out across the void. This is I'm I'm so nervous right now. I am so nervous. So nervous. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But we have to do this. We need to get back to the overworld. That is our number one priority here. That is number one goal of today's episode is to get from here back to the overworld. Oh, and if you've noticed, I have found a use for the rotten flesh. That's right. I've been eating it. But it does the job once you get past the hunger debuff. So let's see. I need to go north. And that's north. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to make ourselves a little plank here. And we're going to walk the plank. Oh my gosh. I've never. I am. I'm. My heart is literally pounding right now. Like you, you don't even know how nervous this makes me. And here we go. We're just going to head out. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh. All right. Here we go. I am holding shift so hard right now. You don't even know. I have no idea how far we are going to have to go to get where we need to go. Or if we're even going to be able to make it there with what we have. But hopefully we do. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I just thought of something else. Once we get to the other side, we're going to have to deal with phantoms. Because I'm sure we have been awake for more than three day-night cycles in the overworld. So, fingers crossed it's daytime when we get over there. And we can build ourselves some sort of anti-phantom shelter of some sort. Before night falls. Otherwise, we're going to have a real problem. Because phantoms and skyblock, I can imagine... Don't mix. This is my first time playing Skyblock, but let me tell you that Skyblock is what got me interested in Minecraft in the first place. I don't know what I was searching for, but somehow I came across a Skyblock Let's Play, and just the sheer problem-solving game nature of it is what drove me into it. You start out with absolutely nothing, and just from knowing some game mechanics and utilizing your resources properly, you're able to just create an entire world out of nothing. And that just, I think, is ridiculously cool. So I'm really excited to play this new version that has just been released and get our own little Skyblock world going. And if this is something you guys want to see more of, just leave a comment, let me know. Because I do plan on doing a couple of these, but if it's something you guys aren't really interested in, then I just won't continue it. But let me know if this is something you're interested in. We'll keep going. Uh, the Let's Play world is not going to end. We're continuing on with that. This will just be in addition to that. So, yep, let me know. And I'm just going to keep pressing shift and hoping for the best here. I have no idea if we're anywhere close to where we need to go or where we are. I'm scared to, like, move and look around, to be honest. I just, I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just going to keep going. 
I don't, <laughs> I'm literally scared to death right now. We are over absolutely nothing, and we are holding every single item that we own. Oh my gosh, we've hit land. We've hit land. It's a portal. We've done it. We've made it. We've made it. Just got to get over here safely. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, okay, we can do this. Professional Minecrafters, get yourself together. We can do this. All right. So we have a fire charge. I imagine that is for lighting this portal up. So let's do that. There we go. And I want to walk off the edge here. What do we got around here? Oh, we got some gold blocks up there. I'm actually tempted to to mine those. I might come back for those. Because I can make some armor out of that. And that would be a nice source of armor to start out with. Alright. Let's cross the border here. Is it daytime? daytime and we're all right where are we where are we I have no idea where we've ended up here all right so let's just kind of make ourselves a bit of a platform here aha I see home I see home Right over there. There's home. We got this. Alright, so I need to go that way. Alright. One more time over the void. Here we go. Here we go. I just want to get back to dry land in the sky next to an oak tree. You know, where where things are peaceful and bright. Yeah, yeah, just you're very, very Minecrafty here at this moment. I want grass. I'm looking for grass and we found a tree. We landed on the tree. Whew, all right. So I'm gonna see if I can get some. Oh, we got our first, come on, there you are. Almost lost it. We got our first uh, sapling, awesome. First try, that's good luck right there. There's two, two saplings. I'm gonna be careful not to go too far down through here, but. Oh man, we're almost there. I'm just gonna break a few more of these leaves. Ooh, we got an apple, so we got some food. That's good. There Another sapling. I don't know if that made it down there. If that we lost that one, might have lost that one. We were doing pretty good on the sapling front. I just gotta be real careful not to do something stupid right now and fall and lose all of this stuff while I'm over here getting greedy about sta saplings. But you know what? All right. Lost another one. But we're going to start taking this tree down. I still have a bunch of wood left over from our nether wood farming. And I have a ton of slabs and other things still. So that's going to get us a good little head start here. So I think this is going to work out. Hopefully. So now, even if we do die... We don't have to start all over because we're back where we belong. And we've got that portal made. And so we can go back over there and farm up some more of those nether trees if we wanted to. When we need to. And make some more bone meal because that was a great source of bone meal. We were able to get a ton of bone meal out of that. And here we are. We're back. Oh my gosh. I've never been so excited. Alright, let's pack all this stuff away and call it a day for now. And then next episode we'll get started building up this area and doing what we need to do to succeed here in Skyblock. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you're excited to see more. Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked what you saw, don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.